Engineering is intrinsically about taking ideas from the academic environment through out into commercial reality. So I think Compass is a fantastic example of how uh, pioneering studies and the basics and fundamentals in biochemical engineering are now being enabled to go out into industry. And I think it's a really good testament to the success of the department as to how we've managed to achieve that translation. Ultra scale down um, technologies actually comes from the ultra scale down approach where we're looking at um, working with milliliters scale of uh, materials uh, that is produced in the lab, uh, which then mimics actually the larger scale uh, process material that's being produced by the large scale equipment. Our end users could be a process scientist who works in the lab um, looking at early stages of development. They might be working with a bioprocess engineer or they might be working with people in manufacturing. A lot of them have come to us and told us that they would like to actually bring in this technology to be part of their um, development uh, tools. Compass is just looking at the sheer stress on the biological material. Imagine a bench scale process where you simply take a few mils of your precious material, pour it into a test tube and centrifuge it. When you get to industrial scale, you're going to have to go through uh, pumps and valves through the feed zone of a centrifuge. Completely different experience. If your material is sensitive to shear, you're going to face quite a new process to what you imagined when you were at bench scale. The initial uh, support for the USD concept and where it was developed was in the Innovative Manufacturing Research Centre in Bioprocessing. This was a large uh, collaborative EPSRC grant. The commercialisation of the USD technologies uh, received a major boost in around 2013 uh, through the award of a Hefke Catalyst Fund grant to look at the commercialisation of the USD technologies and how we go from a research prototype device through to a commercial manufacturable product. So the USD shear device is incredibly useful especially when we consider vaccine research development. Because vaccines have such a diversity of different products, having a very simple device that allows us to profile stability of a vaccine molecule and based on that shear profile then find out which unit operations we can use for purification has been incredibly helpful. The final step on the road to commercialising the USD devices was facilitated through a UCL uh, knowledge Exchange and Innovation Award for licensing that technology to another UCL spin-out called Gower Labs. The USD technology is squarely in the, in the remit of global health. The whole idea is to be able to move companies forward uh, with confidence to enable drugs that to move to manufacturing at lower cost and as a consequence for greater populations of patients to benefit. The future of ultra scale down is really exciting. The demand for personalized medicine, for example, consequently demands targeted manufacturing. And this is an exciting area for next generation ultra scale down devices. Mm -hmm.